Hello, welcome. Today, I am super excited because I am going to be giving you three non-business books that I believe all female entrepreneurs should read. Um, we're, as, as entrepreneurs, we are pretty much putting on different hats all the time. We are doing bits and pieces. We are everything <laughs> in our businesses a lot of the time. Um, and we're a team manager, we are a, um, we do accounts, we do graphics, we do whatever it is you need. Um, and it comes with a lot of these things we can actually get pushed to our limits on. And in some ways that's exciting, in some ways that is really frightening or it sometimes pulls up some emotions that we may not really understand all the time or that we may have wanted to leave, you know, up to the side. So... I'm just going to dive straight in. I'm going. This is going to be my reviews of these three books, which um, I've really, really enjoyed reading over the last few months. So the first one I'm going to put forward is this one called Soul Modes by Carly Marie. Now this book is um, tagline I'll just say the tagline to start with you're not one ordinary woman you're four extraordinary ones and this book goes through basically looks at you know the days where you wake up and you go oh my goodness I'm going to declutter the whole kitchen actually no kitchen lounge room and wardrobe all in one day and you feel so empowered and so 100% sure you can do it you get everything out everything's in a mess on the floor you go to bed, the next morning you're like, what was I thinking? I have no motivation to do any of it. The house is a mess and I'm happy to leave it that way. <laughs> and it goes through how we go through these different modes and different um, things will motivate us in different modes. Different things will um, fill our needs in different modes. Um, and it just kind of explains and um, like normalizes those feelings of like, you know, when people go, oh, go go have a massage, go, go do some self-care by relaxing or whatever. And all, all you want to do is like go out on an adventure and run or rock climb or archery. I'm just thinking about things for myself. <laughs> all of these things that you just love to do and you're like, the last thing I want to do is sit down for a massage. But I, in, in other times that you do. So this is, this is really um, helps you to um, look at those different modes, identify where you are in your site the cycle and it's not a monthly cycle it's not a moon phase it's it's just a cycle um and and then also how to empower embrace that and use it to your advantage so how do you get ready for when you're feeling like a superwoman how do you get ready for when you feel like you just want to cuddle up with a doona and a hot chocolate all of those sort of things and knowing when they're coming um and being able to actually um, utilize each of those phases so that's soul moods by Carly Marie. Um, the second one I have here is Healthy Boundaries. Oh, I had one last thing about this one. Really easy conversational style, fairly quick. I think this one took me hmm, two to three hours, I'm going to say, to read um, with some pondering times as well. Okay. Next one I have is Healthy Boundaries by Lauren De Silva. See that the cover there? And oh, the Heart Centered woman's guide to healthy boundaries i just call it my healthy boundaries book and this one is amazing um lauren is actually here in the group as well and um this book has really changed the way i look at relationships with other people and how creating those boundaries and creating the um the expectations within relationships is not to push people away but is for both of us or how many in the, you know have the people in your relationship to um, enjoy and love and feel nurtured and honored in those relationships and so it's been really helpful not only in a business sense but also for my family and the great thing about this book is there is little um like i probably can't find any at the moment <laughs> um oh here we go there's little bits and pieces um, that you can either fill in there or um, worksheets that go with it as well and um, that you can download off lauren's website and what it has really done is encouraged me to think about how I approach relationships, what I expect of other people, and if I have actually, you know, set that expectation up or if I have encouraged 
subconsciously or unknowingly um, things within relationships that I'm just like I don't like and so and what to do about those and how to have those those awkward conversations um, around boundaries and relationships and all of those sort of things so that book um, it's a little bit longer um, than um, Solmos it probably took me probably around the four hour mark to read um, I couldn't put it down once I started um, so <laughs> um, there was a couple of uh, two or three late nights for me um, and um, very yeah really loved it and as I said Lauren's in the group so if you have any question, questions <laughs> um, feel free to, to tag Lauren or, or get in touch with her as well the last book that I want to put forward to, forward to you is a book that is actually on my Kindle. And I'm trying to get it so you can actually see. And my Kindle is not playing fit right. Uh, it's decided to update. So it's on my Kindle that's updating. Um, and it, oh, I just wanted to show you the cover. Um, which I actually don't even know if I can. No, I purchased it. I can't show you the cover. Anyway, the last book <laughs> is called Feelings Buried Alive Never Die. So Feelings Buried Alive Never Die. And it is by Carol um, K. Truman. And this book is a, a quite a, a different scale of reading. Um, so this is quite a, a much bigger book I actually saw someone had a physical copy and it was quite chunky I didn't realize when I started reading it because to me it's quite thin on my Kindle um, and um, it's quite a large book it is not something that you're going to read in one or two sittings it is something that you um, you might read a little bit and want to ponder for a while um, and it it um, for me it brought up some feelings from my past um, and it was quite um, heavy you might say in some areas um, however it gave me a really good um, framework and a really good way of helping me to move forward with some of those feelings that had been keeping me stuck um, so success limiting ideas and all of these sort of things so um, it's really helpful to actually um, go through and work through slowly and um, to actually yeah have some some pondering and thinking time it has what is called the script in there um, which is very helpful for releasing negative ideas or negative beliefs that you've um, you've carried through maybe from childhood or from when you were younger and um, to actually release those without having to dredge up all of the memories and everything alongside of those um, another really um, um, good um, bit I don't even know, I've lost for words. Another great thing in the book <laughs> is that um, there is a list of um, feelings. So like the, the um, negative feelings and some positive feelings that you can um, replace them with. And also there is um, uh, pain or like, if you're having, you know, um, chronic issues in some areas, maybe they're related to um, emotional buildup in that area of, of negative buildup so it has some you know um, a table of you know looking at this area have a think about maybe these issues um, these pain points uh, within your life uh, and alongside the book there is also I don't have a phone on me, if I do, there is also an app and um, the app again has the script in it and has a table of all of the feelings and of some of the physical um, uh, ailments that you can have um, that that can have an emotional um, cause or emotional root to them now if you, if you can see that before yeah that is the that's basically the cover of the book there and then in through the apps it's really easy to use nice and simple if you grab the book I would highly recommend grabbing the app too you can also get reference cards if you want a non-digital version of that so they are my three top books non-business books because I know we, we quite often read books about you know entrepreneurship and um, like my own book which is all about building your business and helping you with those things but these ones are really complementary to your business as a whole and I'd highly recommend 
um, going and having a look at them. I'm going to add an, a link in the bottom of the video. So if you want to go check them out, um, they're all there on the one page. So you can go find them yourself. So I hope you're having an amazing day. That is my three top non-business books for female entrepreneurs. See you guys.